In life, I was an actor who imagined a talent too far to one side of a hazardous balance between the perceived and the ardent apparent. I leapt centre stage with an appalling lack of caution, spoke convoluted monologues with syntactical contortion, vocally adorning clarity amidst distortion, or so I thought. The speech bubble drawn for me was too small in proportion to harbour the story that I thought I had cornered. I drowned in applause when my sword scored the fourth wall, then sank to the floor, anchored rancorous and dormant. When I woke up, I was choking. On my own prosperity, I spoke like a vocoder, throat croaking terribly. I sipped sea salt cordial involuntarily, then looked up and saw my hope soaked with insincerity. The surface was a vault door. In water they had buried me. My first port of call was to scream like a lighthouse, a flurry of colours and yet, silent, I wiped out. I awoke at the cusp, still adjusting to this morbid new meaning I was gleaming for, artistically immortal. I'd heard shark-tooth truth and aborted my snorkel. There were no more rewards, just leftovers and morsels, as I sang with the chorus of the forgotten and remorseful.